All right, Fight fans, we are down to our final match of the day here for day six. It's Friday the 15th. Yesterday in Japan was March the 14th, and it's a weird day uh, you really don't find out about until you maybe move here and live here. It's called White Day. And so what happens is in February, on February 14th, is Valentine's Day. Everybody knows that. Most of you uh, are familiar with Valentine's Day. And you give chocolates and flowers and stuff to your girlfriend, or she gives you a gift, or you exchange cards. And it's a, it's you know it's a totally fabricated holiday by gift card companies and stuff, but uh, it, it's it's a nice day. But in Japan, over the years, it took on a very one-sided, uh, what am I trying to say, status or something? I don't even situation. Uh, where it's mostly girls who give chocolates to boys. And they, you know, they give chocolates to their friends and everything. And then boys just received. <laughs> and so, you know, I don't know, 20 years ago, I don't know how long White Day has been around. Uh, they decided, hey, the girls should get stuff from the guys too. But they, they decided to have their own special day for that. And that is... Uh, March the 14th. So yesterday, boys were supposed to give chocolates to the girl they like. White chocolate, uh, per the name of the day. and uh, Or reciprocate. If they were given chocolate on Valentine's Day, they can give back some chocolate uh, on White Day to say thank you, etc., uh, etc. Et so, yeah, just a little weirdness there. Uh, so I did not give out any chocolates, sadly. <laughs> Um, okay, so Terano Fuji back to the sumo. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, I, I almost expected to see him pull out of the tournament because of the uh, the back-to-back -back Kimboshi, but he is here. He's two and three, so we'll see. He should get this win, but you know, I would have said that against Meisei and and uh, Oho as well. Um, his opponent there, Maigashira three in the red, Takanosho, not having a good start to his tournament. He's at one and four. So, uh, this, you know, if he loses here, uh, like I said, I think there will be pressure maybe for him to withdraw and stop the bleeding with the Kimboshi, uh, where they have to give monetary prizes to the wrestlers. Um, tomorrow, uh, probably after this match, uh, you know, after the, the conclusion, I'll go over the day seven matchups for you so you can kind of see what you have to look forward to. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... But this one's ready to go, so here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kimboshi. Takanosho is the second of Kimboshi. There is no power in the middle of the middle. Okay, now... I don't want to be doom and gloom, but I will be very surprised if he shows up tomorrow. He's now uh, two and four with three losses in a row to rank and file wrestlers. Um, yeah, I'm assuming something's going on with the knees or something's just not working right. Uh, but Takanosho, all credit to him. He had a plan. He executed well. I don't know if that's his very first Kimboshi. Uh, I'll have to check the stats. I'll try to put it down in the description if I can find it. Um, speaking of down in the description, a lot of you have been leaving comments asking, where is the link to see how you're doing in the contest? That will be down in the description box of this video. So feel free to check out your, uh, situation on the contest board. Uh, and I'll post that link every day in the final match of the day. So tomorrow on day seven, as we watch, uh, some other footage here, uh, down in Jurio, just by the way, um, Hakuoho lost today to Wakataka Kage, so that was a big matchup. Sorry I couldn't get that on the channel for you. Wakataka Kage is undefeated at Jurio 10 at 6-0, so he's looking very much like he could win the Yusho down there. 
Hakuoho, though, has lost a few. He's now 3-3, three and three, including his loss today. So, uh, yeah, he's not going to be jumping way up <laughs> to the uh, top division anytime soon. Uh, he's going to spend at least another boss show down in Jurio, depending on how the rest of his... You know, and he's got a lot of distractions going on in his life right now, Hakuoho, with all the turbulence at his stable. But uh, Wakataka Kage not being uh, bothered by anything... I believe he's the only undefeated. Oh no, Asakoru at Jurio Eight is also six and zero, oh. so he does have somebody uh, on the board with him. Okay, tomorrow there's all the winners and losers from today. So as you can see, Takeda Fuji there is one of the men at six and zero, oh, and we only have one other, and that is Ono Sato. So only two men undefeated in the top division. And speaking of that, let's see. Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. Ryuden 4 and 2 has Roga Takeru Fuji 6 and 0 has Shonano Umi 5 and 1 so that's a fun matchup tomorrow I'll have that for you uh then we get around to halftime Ono Show 4 and 2 has Ono Sato 6 and 0 so that's a good matchup tomorrow that'll be right around halftime 5 o'clock uh then Atami Fuji 4 and 2 has Oho 2 and 4 then we get into the Seke Wake and above. Wakamoto Haru has Ura. Asanoyama has Daesho. Abi takes on Ozeki Hoshoru. Takanosho, who just got the big Kimboshi there, goes up against Kirishima tomorrow. Kotonowaka has Meisei. Takakeisho has Nishikigi. And if he shows up, the Yokozuna tomorrow is slated to fight Tobizaru, the Maigashira 4, in the final match of the day. So, like I said, should have pretty full coverage. Um, I, I do, like I do have, I, as I mentioned, I have a school event. So I won't be home in time to get Jurio matches up. But Sunday, full day off, and I will put up some Jurio just so you can see how Wakataka Kage is doing. Because on Sunday, he could get his Kimboshi, right? Uh, his Kachikoshi, go men. Oh, here we go. Good. They're going to show a replay. So here's Asanoyama, Kotonowaka. <laughs> Abi threw everything he normally has at him and he just took it, waited for his moment. Now we're gonna get a little action replay. I'm sorry, I, I wish I was better. I I know this is a former, I want to say a former Yokozuna. Uh, but I don't know this man's name, but he is a very, the face I recognize, he is a very famous wrestler. So somebody slapped me in the head and, and put his name down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, if, if, if you were famous in sumo before 2005, I'm probably aware of who you are, but I'm not as good with names of wrestlers before I started watching. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, so I won't have Jurio tomorrow, but I'll have Jurio Sunday. And I'll have really full coverage for you Sunday. Then Monday, Tuesday shouldn't be a problem. Wednesday is a national holiday. And I think I'm going to take Thursday and Friday off work. Because we'll be done with school. I don't think I have to go to school for anything on 21 and 22. So I'll use some of my kind of, uh, we call it time in lieu. You know, these Saturdays that I work, I get another day off, right? Like a paid day off. So I can use that. And, uh, yeah, just have a really good end of the tournament uh, time here with you guys on the channel. So, yep, there are the matchups. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, day seven. Okay, take care. Peace.